Hello, my name is Vladimir Chopin, and in this video, we're going to look how to create Sky Dome that we can use inside the 3D renders, inside the like Unity or Unreal engines to create video games, or just simply render your images inside the DAS Studio. We also look on different ways we can create them by utilizing your own local installation of Stable Diffusion or use it online services, for example, like Skybox here. And we look on all settings and how we can do. So this video maybe will be a little bit long. I will put it a uh, breakdown on the chapters below so you can jump to specifically subject you want to do. As well, I appreciate if you watch all the way. This will help to promote my video. So let's go ahead and start working on this. It is obvious advantages and disadvantages by creating sky domes by using online services or by utilizing your own local installations. First, local installations, it is free, only what you're using power of your GPU card. However, some quality is not up to there and I will show you what may be problem and how overcome them. Online renders, they're not bad and I'm using the Skybox from the blockage labs, but this is allowed you to do for free or they promote you kind of to purchase their own service. The reason is you don't want to use it for free. It will embed digital watermarkings on your image. So in some cases become a little bit unuseful. It's more interesting for the test, but not really to use in any of your work. As well, if you want to purchase, you almost need force it to purchase the pro membership because basic does not allow you to use it for commercial um, licensing for commercial purpose. It's according to their own laws. But again, if you like in US or other countries, most of them does not support or recognize AI generated art as copyrightable. So in this case, you can still use it all of them as you wish or more correct as public domain images. First, when you come to Plugage Labs, you will see this screen with some pre-render images you can preview what other people does. You can also look around and you can notice it's actually have a very good render, except right here on the bottom, maybe some problems or on the top sometimes, but general, it's a very seamless and nice render background. You can always go ahead and try by clicking Try Sky Box. When you're going inside a trial, you'll notice you have it your prompt where you can put it together as well as some additional options. You have a negative prompt that you can still using if you're using for free, but if you want to decide use the enhancement prompt or any other special features, you will need purchase. Access to the applications. The Pro give you 250 images, which is quite a bit plenty to create for one month. Again, it will reset one month. You can see I already used 30 of them just to play around and try it. And this is excluded previously months and previous trials. To generate, you just go inside and type what you're interested. You also can somewhat browse uh, ideas and online people posted prompts that may be inspired. You also can change type of the models you're using because it's based on stable diffusion. Change models, you just click on digital painting as default and you can see right here plenty of the models. My only complaint about these models is you don't really see preview what is a style and you need to guess based on the name of those styles. And sadly, some of them not very descriptive like sand ink or what is different between the sky and Nambolo. You'll notice some of them have the stars. It's been those models available only for the premium. One other thing is just keep it in mind that is upcoming additional 3D mesh. So they announced that soon will be available 3D mesh. You can use it directly in your games. I'm looking forward towards this and see how they will resolve this all, how they created what limitations or size will be. Let's go ahead and try create one. I'm going to use the Utah landscape, canyons, arches, red rocks, desert and light clouds. We'll use it by default, digital painting, and let's click on generate. The generation actually done quite a bit fast. They have very good GPUs on the back end. And here is an image where we got it. Notice on the top again, where is the merge happened, but I don't see any seamless lines. 
except only top and bottom a little bit but generally it's actually a very good preview what most important about this generator images it's how it can be output one more important and what format so let's go click on download and you notice right here we have it image jpeg png cube map hdr xdr depth map which is kind of very nice if you want to use it and also you can produce some videos let's look what we have inside our files right here we preview our folder and you can see as the cube it's export for us in a zip file and we have it six different files that is seamless and showing us different size the reason is I think they give it four files so you can stitch afterwards in a way as a layout expected by your application I would prefer if they ask before what stitching is allowed so in this case you don't need to do some post work as well you have it output or your normal the image and this is what we have it as our PNG you can see it's stretch on top so it's a perfectly created uh, VR or a 360 image for us as well we have it our depth map in case if you need to use it and we have it also AXR and HDR images we'll need two of those to use it in our other applications because they are have it more bit information and provide better lighting information for us you also can output as a video and if you notice right here you can output landscape portraits or square video so let's go ahead and check what video is output notice it this is just a simple camera turning around it provide for us 360 view it is could be loop it or you can put it on some social media if you want it you cannot of course drag and drop navigate this video it just simply 360 rotations of the image and here as example vertical render okay let me shrink this just a little bit so it's fit in our screen and you can see this is more useful maybe for Instagram or some short movies whatever you want to create it and also preview this one to give it a little bit better preview sky and floor in general I think this is a good way just to preview your image how it's maybe look in your game when people observe Skyboy AI does provide very good resolution on render images as well good libraries of the pre-trained model and you don't need to worry about the stitching them as well as providing multiple format as AGR the one big minus you need to pay money and you have it limited on how many images you can create it per month so another solutions for you if you're interested it's have it on your own local installations like in stable diffusion you can render almost any images and use any models this as well but to make it more um, usable for us as 360 we need to utilize a special plugins or extras or LoRa models and one of the LoRa models I was using is 360 diffusion LoRa SD 1.5 which is work with the uh, stable diffusion except it does not support the new SDXL model so in this case you need to work with a little bit less but on the bright side it's working with automatic web UI I will provide link down below for you so you can go ahead and download it what do you want to do going to file and versions and download this file 360 diffusion version 1 safe sensors and place it inside your stable diffusion directory inside the LoRa subfolders after this you can start creating your landscape I'm using counterfeit version 3.0 but you can use it any other model as long as work with stable diffusion 1.5 so for this we'll go and create Mars landscape rocks haze dust and mountains on a background so we'll just go create this simple let's click generate and see how our image come up it was quite a bit fast and this is very simple landscape I don't want to go anything complex this time next we want to increase let's use it 1024 resolution the aspect rate show is best if we check what is preferred from from 
for the sky dome and generally they recommend using 221 so it's meaning 1024 by 512 about the perfect resolution on our spec ratio we want to use it we found the, in a way we want to display our image we can apply some changes so again 1024 let's take our steps we'll increase to about 50. also simple method for this i want to use it a little bit different maybe add photorealistic as you can again what are you going after just small twinkle in adjustments. I don't want to use it seed in this case, but we'll leave it everything as default and let's click generate. When we find the landscape we like it, we can click to reuse that seed. And at this point, we want to re enable our LoRa model. We'll go inside the LoRa and using 360 diffusion. So, like you'll notice right here, it will add. Sometimes when you try to select from here, you may have a problem that it does not select properly a name. Like in this case, it's a LoRa last one. What I want to do, I actually want to have it LoRa 360 Diffusion versus one. So be sure you have it properly LoRa model added to our text. Let's go ahead and close this one now and go render again. At this point, if we look on the model, you'll notice right here we have a nice stretch on the bottom. It's what mean we all come link on the bottom, same on the top, and we have it some um, stitching definitely we have it same elements the problem with this if we look on the models that was or image that was created you'll notice this is image is a 6144 by uh, 3072 we can even upscale more with gigapixel ai and i will provide link down below for you this is a great tool to upscale your images but this is about the size so if we're going back to our image, ours is only 1024 by 512. It's meaning we have it much less details when we render. We can increase our width and height, but in many cases it's come up with a problem. As well, I noticed this lower model that we currently use it. It does not have a very good reference on high resolution. We have it several options we can achieve. One, we can click send image to image. In this case, we can tweak around if we want to add the resolution. We can also utilize the control net access and have it all as additional options if we want to do this. Or other options, if you don't want to add any details, you can always just go ahead, send to extras. And inside extras, you can say upscale, select upscaler that you like it, set properly size and click generate. So this way the image will be upscale. And it's become a little bit more useful now on this size. Again, if you look closer, right here you can see definitely some details there, but it's not what we wanted. Another problem with this image as we're creating beside resolution, it is render and I save in format of PNG. And if you ever work with a Unreal um, or with another engine like Unity, You'll notice many of them will require to use the HDR type or a EXR type image as a sky dome. We can convert those images from PNG to HDR by utilizing free online convert io.ko web service. I will provide link down below and here is it. you just choose your file to upload and click convert in the end you will have your HDR file. The difference between conversions or real HDR is how many bit information is have it. Because this is conversion still lock this image only to 8 bit as original PNG file instead 10 or 12 bit which come with HDR and have it more information on the shadows and highlights. If you are also interested to preview how your image look in 3D, you can use a different online services. For example, the viewer which is provide some free options you can upload your images here and kind of preview see how they will look in vr environment this viewer is kind of nice because it's work with a partner like oculus or other things and you can view these images in your real 360 environment i think at this point we have it enough um, images that we created that we can use it as sky dome images to generate your art for properly um cast lightings and as well as background by using application, for example, as DAS Studio. You can download it free DAS Studio from DAS3D.com website. Link will be down below. And this is completely free applications where you can put it models in 
and render. You not really can create any 3D modeling inside. It's very limited, but it's nice because you can create, take a 3D model, render, create your own scene as you need it. Let's go ahead and try put a dome right here. For this in DAS 3D Studio, we need going to the render settings. In render settings, click on editor, click on tab all, and you should see option for the HDR environment. If you don't see this option, you need to enable an easy way to do. Just click on preview shadings and select NVIDIA iRay. When you do this, you'll notice right add options says environment. And this is provided for us options that we can add additional maps, light maps, and other effects. One thing I do recommend for you, switch back to your texture shadings. It will provide a little bit faster navigations. For some reason, depending on how much you run on your computer, it may take a little bit longer time if you utilize NVIDIA IRA type. And even with my card, um, it is RTX 390, it still takes some little bit time to process. So next, when we select this environment map, all what we need to do, click on this icon and select Browse. And there, navigate to the place where you have it, your image. And you can see right here, I have it PNG, I have it HDR and XR. I would recommend using two of those HDR, so we'll select one, click Open, and I'll notice in a second it will read it and replace this image. To preview, we need to place some object inside, and I'm just going to select objects. Let's select some robot, like right our model inside. We can switch now to NVIDIA arrays to preview. And you can see how it will cast properly lighting on our model. Notice it is a little bit green color. Of course, we can go back to our render setup and power of the background that we can use a draw dome. If we click on this, you can preview the image that is generated in the background. By utilizing all other properties, size, orientations, we can reposition the dome in a way we like it. If you're interested more how to create and use inside the studio, I will provide a link down below for you. To watch those videos. Let's right now look how we can do this inside the Unreal. With Unreal we'll start with a project and I'll just remove everything so we'll start from ground. First we need to add our HDR image that we're going to use it for the lighting. So let's go ahead and just drag and drop inside our portion and this is what we're going to use. So next we want to use it Sky Dome. We don't need cube because again it was rendered as a sky dome. We're going to the blueprint and down and search P and we're going to use it a light studio for this. Let's go ahead and click select. Let's name this BP Light Studio and we're going to drag and drop on the scene. And right here you can see we have our lights and already created. Let's switch to the rotation tool. And we'll re rearrange our lights, put it a little bit up so we can see with a little bit more lighting inside. The next, with our light selected, we'll scroll a little bit down in the properties to find our HDR property. And we'll take our image, drag and drop on top of it. Next, we need to be sure we enable by clicking Use it HDR. And you notice right here we have it our image. Of course, we'll have it our horizontal line and maybe our normal lighting. For this, we can go down below disable our sun position so it does not cast lighting. If you want to enable sun position and reuse it, you can always realign a position of HDR image by going to HDR rotation and rotate in the properly way. So this position of the sun or main lights will match with your sun position. Next, we'll go down below and right here with atmosphere, you can disable if you need it. So it will provide a little bit less this horizontal line for us to matching. Of course, you can play a little bit more with those settings, applying different haze, fog, or level for the horizontal line to match. General, right there you can see we have our preview. There is our background. Very fast and easy way to set up inside the Unreal In. Hopefully you find these tips is useful. Thank you for watching. And if you like it, please subscribe and share this video. Have a great day.